Hey, welcome to the Song Lounge with Chris Hardy. Do you see your own reflection? You don't see your reflection, you just see the reflection of the camera I'm using. Well, that was a curious noise. Hey, welcome to the Song Lounge once again. Today, I am in my laundry room. Uh, you can't really see, but oh, there's the edge of the washer right there. My name is Chris Hardy. Uh, the Song Lounge is a place that where the physical location varies greatly sometimes, but this is the place where I explain to you the story behind some of the songs I've written. And I've written a lot of songs. Today's song has something to do with one of these, but I don't care about that right now. It has something to do with aging and growing old. Now, I have some experience doing this, as I recently just turned 54 years old. 54 years old. Honestly, I don't feel a day over 50. But in 2014, <clears throat> my voice got squeaky. Squeaky! In 2014, in 2014, I was working on an album uh, called Robot Dreams. And one of the songs I wrote was called Rotary Phone. Now, I'm sure you kids don't remember the Rotary Phone. I grew up in the 70s, and in the 70s, the telephone you had at your house was just, that was it. You could only make calls on it. It didn't even have buttons, nor a touch screen, nor apps. There was no such thing as an app in 1975. Basically what you had was this device with a base and a handset and a wire attached to it. Not even cordless. Huh, so primitive. But what you would do is there was a dial on it, and you would actually have to manipulate the dial for whatever number. And you prayed that the people you called the most didn't have a lot of nines or zeros in their phone number, because that would take forever. It's like, shh. And then you get to dial the next number. It sounded exactly like that. Look it up, look it up. There's videos on YouTube of uh, rotary phones. I wanted to make this song uh, because I, I had, was turning 50 that year. And, uh, you know, aging was on my mind, or what's left of it. So I thought, I need to write a song, a little tribute to rotary phones, because I know how they feel. Okay, just like people, uh, you get replaced by the newer model. And it's, it can be a little depressing. I imagine the rotary phone is just sitting there in an antique store, waiting for some old person to come along and buy it. And it's, th it's watching all these kids with their smartphones uh, doing their little computing things and whatever else you do with those things. And it's just sitting there going, man, I remember when I ruled the freaking world. And it did. When the phone rang in your house back then, it was an event. I'm about to run out of power on this. I have less than five minutes left on my battery. Let's fix that. Time out. All right, we have AC power now. Yay! So yeah, back when the rotary phone ruled the world, things were great for the rotary phone. Ah, speaking of phones... Hello? Oh my, really? A prize? I want a prize? What kind of prize? What'd I get? Oh, a timeshare! Yes, yes, I will hold on, and, and I, I will give you all of my personal information. Let me just pause this camera real quick. You guys, I just got this awesome phone call. Anyway, back to, uh, back to rotary phone and aging. It seems like the older you get, the more you can fall prey to scams. But not me. I'm sharp. <laughs> so here is Rotary Phone, performed in the superior acoustics of my laundry room.
talking to you every day. Yeah, I tried to do the live fade. Doesn't always work, but that's okay. Did you see what I did there? It was kind of like a like a like a busy signal. It's like ee, 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 ee. so that was the story behind rotary phone. Uh, like I said, if you don't know what a rotary phone is, you're just missing out. Look it up on YouTube. You'll find it. It's all there. Ask your grandmother, or these days you might have to ask your great grandmother. Ah. Uh, my name is Chris Hardy. I'm going to go enjoy my new timeshare. And, <laughs> and thank you for watching. And if you like what I'm doing here, or if you at least tolerate it, please subscribe! Because you never know what you're going to get on the Song Lounge. There's always going to be one other song that you just want to know the story behind. Why did he write that song? What was going through his mind? What inspired that? I can tell you on the next episode of the Song Lounge. See you then. Hey, this will be cool. Okay. Okay, I'm filming a video of you. No, oh, don't be creeped out. Facebook does the same thing. And so does Alexa, I hear. Okay, we'll see you next time.